Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Kaveta. We are in London. Woohoo! We are back in London again. It, um, it is so cold right now. <laughs> I know I figured, but you know us. And wear cold weather clothes. It's non-existent. But um, we are here again. We loved it the first time. You guys have heard me talk about Khalil falling in love and saying he wants to move here after college. So we're going to chill. And then we have family here. So it's just the perfect spot to relax for the holidays. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about what it takes to get here right now. Of course, remember things change every two seconds whenever they want to. So always double check where you're going and what the requirements are. So come, let's sit and chat. So it was a journey and a trip to get up here. So today, uh, Vlogmas day, what are we? I'm losing track. Vlogmas day nine. This will be about how we got from Turkey, Antalya, Turkey to London. Okay, so a couple days ago, everything, well, you know, some things changed because we know we're in the Rona time, so things are going to change. So you have to keep updated on everything that's going on. So because I knew we were coming here, I followed the or liked the UK government page on Facebook. So every time they posted an update, I would see it. So that's how I saw this update, which was um, you have to take a test before you come. So an antigen or PCR test, you have to take before entering uh, the UK. And that doesn't apply to under 12. So Jarrell didn't have to do it, but Kalel and I had to do the test. And then when you're here, you have to do a day two test. And as everything you know, you read and learn about says, it's called a day two test but you don't have to do it on day, day two. You have to do it by the second day that you are here. So you could do the day two tests exactly as you land. So then you won't have to quarantine because you have to quarantine until you get your results. So yes. So what we did, the first thing, of course, we went to the Antalya airport to do our test because I knew it was going to be an antigen test. Our flight was at 7 a.m. So we left and then we got to the airport, I think, 3.40 a.m. there about because I wasn't too sure if it was going to be full or, you know, I just wanted to give enough time for the, the test before leaving at 7. It was completely empty and I just insert to me talking and showing you the place. Good morning, you guys, from Antalya Airport. It is 4 o'clock in the morning. Ridiculous. So it's what? Still like 8 o'clock? for you guys 8 p.m back in florida <laughs> so we um went to the hospital for jarelle first or airbnb host her brother um we had him pick us up he's been taking us around and we just pay him which has been awesome um the hospital that would be in another video it's okay don't be scared <laughs> um but um yeah, so he picked us up at 3. We did that. Then we got here maybe 3.40. There's like nobody here at all. So we got through in two seconds. We came to get our COVID test. Nobody here either. So I'm sure we're going to get the COVID test back in like a couple minutes. And then our flight is at 7 a.m. So I'm like, dang, 4 o'clock. So we're literally going to be waiting for three hours. But I thought it would be more people or, you know, more time for the, especially the COVID test. That's why I came this early. But yeah, there's nobody. So we're just gonna go go back in, wait for a test, then we're check gonna check in, maybe grab something to eat a little bit later, and then board our flight at seven. And then I'll come check in with you and let you know how it goes when we get there. Yep. So we are just legit slow. We should have gone up there. We were just standing there talking, not paying attention. I thought they would just like call us because there's literally nobody else there. And we were in front of the, the um, door, the window. So I thought they would just be like, hey, it's ready. Nope. So I just went up, gave her the barcode, and she printed it. Probably was ready like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but we're both negative, so yayers. No Rona. 
<laughs> okay so yes it was not packed at all there was like virtually nobody for the first hour that we were there so we got the test back in uh, 30 minutes or so and we could have gotten it quicker but you know as i showed you i wasn't paying attention um and the flight was it was not packed at all we could each have gotten a row to ourselves but i don't know why my kids are always up under me <laughs> So we all sat in the same row. It was about four hours and something flight. So it wasn't too bad. Um, okay, so then, yes, and we had to do extra checks. I don't know what's going on with the UK. And they, they had people coming back that are UK residents and they're like, what's happening? Why do we have to do this check? So once you get through um, security and everything to go to your gate, at the gate, they did a check like... The kids, they said, okay, they can go in and sit, but the adults, and then I think they choose one from a party or two from a party, depending on how many people were there. They pat, pat us down, searched us, used those little strips, and we, you know, wiped on us and then put it in the machine to see if we have, you know, I don't want to say certain things on YouTube, but yeah, so they were checking for stuff. So they did the scanning, they patted us down, they tested, and went through her stuff like they took out this lady's entire clothes it was rolled up you know how we roll our stuff and pack it so everything holds they unrolled her things i don't know if but it was a mess you know it was just one of those things so that was something extra that i've never seen before okay so after that um so getting into uk once we got off the plane it was you know it was super easy because we have jarell he's under 12 so they had or under yeah, under 12. So they had a family lane or family section that you could go through immigration for families with kids under 12. So that was perfect because there was nobody in that line. So we walked right up. The immigration officer was so cool. He was, you know, geeking out about their names. He was a Superman fan. Hey, Superman fans. <laughs> so we had fun just talking to him. And he's like, you know, I want to go to the U.S. What are you doing over here? I'm like, let's switch places because I'm trying to see everywhere. But that was cool. So he didn't ask us anything. He just, no, he did ask us how long we were planning to stay and, you know, whatever. But that was about it. He was just geeking out over their names. So that was easy. That was one of the easiest um, immigration checks we've had. And like I've said before, we've never had an issue or any, you know, questions asked or being interrogated or anything like that. We've just been, okay, see you later. That was it. So getting through that was perfect. That was awesome. And then right, at, we went to Stan, Stansted. So I, I don't think I mentioned that. So we flew into Stansted um, Airport. And once we got off the plane, they do have these little kiosks with the um, Stansted Express where you can buy the train tickets. So that's what I did. It was 19, um, 19 pounds for me. And then for the kids under 16, it was nine pounds. So I paid £39 to get to uh, Liverpool Street Station. And then from there, you can take, or, you know, it depends on where you're going. But that, I think, is one of the central places. And then you just branch off and go wherever you're going. From there, I just took an Uber, which was £10. 10 pounds, so it wasn't bad. All right. So in the Sunset Station, you can get the um, train tickets right there. There's an attendant that can help you if you don't understand it. You know, tell them where you're going and they'll tell you the best route or the best tickets and whatever so you go from there and i did book okay so for the two day the day two test you have to book that before you enter the country because you need that booking number that will come once you book the test and you have to enter that into the passenger locator form i know it's a ton of stuff so you have to fill out a passenger locator form before entering the uk and to do that you have to book your day two test so it's not like you can come and be like, yeah, I'm not going to do the day two test anymore because we, you know, we know some of you would do it, <laughs> including me, but we have to book that. So I had to book that test and I chose to do it at the airport because I figured as soon as we land, I get that test done. Then they said within, t by the next day at midnight or 1153, you would get the results. So then, you know, that way you don't have to quarantine for long because you get your results and you're just done. Otherwise, you can have the test shipped to wherever you're staying. And then once you get there, you can self-test, drop it off and send it back. That was what I was going to do. But then that would take more time because then, you know, I would have to come here, do the test, drop it off, 
mail it back and so whenever they get it then it's 24 hours after that so it could take a couple of days so doing it at the airport was you know the best option for me so you can look into that but it you know it did suck you have to do two tests within a couple hours because like i said we did the one in antalya airport right around 3 something a.m and then we did the one in london at 9 something a.m so a couple hours in between but and they all came at negative so we're out of quarantine today um <laughs> we we were tired anyways it's not like we were going anywhere yesterday so we're you know we're just chilling um okay so yes i used the randox at the stanset airport it's uh, let's see i did the test uh, the email came in that they got our test at 9 26 a.m and then by 6 6 17 i got an email that our results are negative and i got all three so all three of us had to do that it was 55 pounds don't get me started so that's 70 something us i think it was 219 us for all three tests that we had to do and um that came back so we don't have to do anything else you don't have to do the, the day eight depending on the country you're coming from if you're coming from a non-red country and you're vaccinated so you then you don't have to do that once you do the day two test you're done so that was pretty much the gist of getting into london and what you have to do right now of course things can change like i said two or three days before we came things changed so you just got to keep up um wherever you're going just join their facebook page you know like their page so you can get information as it's updated so you're not you know stuck at the airport like what i need a test it didn't say that and they're like yep yesterday morning at <laughs> it said you need a test so um yeah so come tour london with us you are gonna see everything okay especially christmas yes we are so excited to be here i decided to do this because you know wanted that christmas feel last year we were in mexico and we we're always in florida or wherever so it's not that christmasy so and i've seen some videos and stuff of showing the different um areas and the decoration so i'm excited to share those with you so yeah you'll be seeing a ton since we're doing vlogmas one video every day and i've been doing it yay i've been doing good so far all right, guys, that is it for today. Um, I will see you tomorrow showing you some of London's Christmas stuff that's going on. So as usual, questions, comments, go ahead and leave them below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our adventures and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.